all those times you felt tiny and alone, and you didn't think anybody was listening. I mean, how could they? You didn't have a voice. But don't worry. It's not over yet, because suffering hasn't taken over. Yes, there are problems which seem to present new problems, but you mustn't lose your strength, because you are not alone. We simply need to raise our voices and bring people to us. So here, you can have your voice back. What if one? One. One. Man can stand on the borderland, uncover the truth, ask to demand. What if one? One. One. Hand goes up to stop the hurt, put the ocean chances in the dirt. What if one? One. One. Thief can look to give away, bring the light to someone's in. What if one? One. One. Light can look right through the dark, be the chain, be the spark. What if one? One. One. Seed could see right through the tree, excel and grow, but perfectly. What if one? One. Could see it through. What if one? One. Could be you. Oompa, loompa, doompa, dee doo. I've got another puzzle for you. Oompa, loompa, doompa, da dee. If you were wise, you'd listen to me. Nothing. I just have a crick in my neck. <laughs> today. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day my four little children will grow up in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the south with. With this faith, we will be able to heal out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to str struggle together, to strive for freedom together, knowing that one day we will be free.
We are all we have now. Do you hear? Calling out for backup. Trying to keep a lookout for better days. Trying to push. We are calling back now. Remembering it was difficult, it took me quite a while. See, for three days and three nights, I stood firm with my right fist up to the sky. And I cannot tell a lie, I had absolutely no idea why. Looking left to right, empty plains, as far as I could see, I felt alone and restless, thinking what could one man possibly achieve? But suddenly, right before my ideology was torn, behind me, before the blink of an eye, an army was formed. And I look back to see soldiers of all different forms and races. I see the nur, the justice demanded on each of their faces. And I remember every detail oh so vividly. But a question remained that was slowly killing me. Our army was grand, thousands of soldiers. But I still felt the fear, thinking what opposition could be so strong for all of us to be here. And I felt as if I was their leader, and I should have spoken up, but the conclusion went to me until today, for at that point, I had woken up. And from this dream, there is a lesson that can easily be took. The answer isn't far away, you just need to know exactly where to look. I see it in the eyes of a young female who's been abused and exploited to every crucial detail, in the eyes of a boy who kills as far as his AK can be loved, but is it even his fault, absent-minded and drunk? In the eyes of a woman who's been left alone in this world with three jobs, two sons, and one little girl. In the eyes of a captive man with absolutely nothing to say. Tortured, beaten, and abused, but still praying five times a day. So I reply to this man in this pleasant exchange, Who am I, you ask? I am change. 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 